What did it mean to come out here today and see the smile on the kids' faces? Um, I think it was very rewarding for me. You know, the kids think it was a privilege for us to be out here and play with them, but uh, at the end of the day, I feel like it was a privilege for me to be out there with them kids and having fun because uh, these kids are very special. When I mean special, I mean I'm not saying like mentally anything like that, but they really have good heart and big hearts. And, you know, it's really something you can learn from from the kids. Absolutely. So uh, at the University of Cincinnati, uh, did you have any um, Special Olympics or anything, any charities that you did there? We had something very similar to it. You know, uh, like I said before, we'll have our spring game. Sure. And after the spring game, we'll take our shoulder pads and our helmet off. And we'll have like a big old field day for the kids. And we'll have different drills, play football and throw the football around and all that. So I'm, I'm very... Um, I'm very familiar with this type of work, and I just enjoy doing it. And you know, I just I just hope that I, during the season, whenever I have time, I just will continue to do it. Now I got a chance to watch you a great deal at the University of Cincinnati, and uh, your ability to slip blocks and and disengage. And um, how do you feel like that's going to serve you here at the next level? Uh, I think I think that's what separates me from a lot of boys. Uh, I'm not gonna say boys, but from a lot of athletes, uh, linebackers, I say. And uh, not only that, I have the combination of. Uh, my power and my instincts, but on top of that, my speed and my size. So I really get, got away with a lot of things sure. in the college level. But now I'm just really polishing my uh, different techniques and everything like that because I know the professional level, it'll be a little bit more tough or that much tougher. Now, you have also an uncanny ability to key and diagnose. Um, you, you do. So um, what, what, how did you come about that, and, and what was it that, that allowed you to kind of diagnose plays as quickly as you were able to? Um, it took a lot of time as far as studying, you know, Studying your opponents, you have pre-snap reads, you have different tendencies, people. If you want to see if a guard going to pull, you can check his hands and his fingers, see if he lied on it. You know, it's different things you can pick up on, just like quarterbacks can pick on different defenders and different tendencies. So that played a big, car, a big part. On top of that, you know, it's instincts. See, when you have a feeling or you can't really coach instincts, so that's more so of a natural gift. So I'm just thankful and blessed just to have everything that the Lord gave me. Now my final question for you, what type of player – uh, is, is the Miami Dolphins getting with you? Oh, like I said before, you have a, um, you getting a playmaker out of me, and you know I uh, I feel like I'm balanced. I can I can contribute just about any package, anything special teams. I can even contribute on offense. So you have a versatile player, and um, you know I, I led the like I keep saying I led the the NCAA or number one for NCAA in force fumbles and fumble recovery. So I'm regardless, I'm gonna get the ball out. So if it's one thing you're going to know, we're going to get the ball back. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you. Appreciate it. All right. Have a great one.